dealing with Satan, he taught a secret. He said, for we wrestle. So he said, everybody should under circle that word, we. Not I wrestle. Is we wrestle. And he explained why. So he said, a lot of people have been doing I wrestle. And then they allowed the devil wear them out. You shouldn't do that. We wrestle. Make sure, not only that you are part of a church and you are committed because your protection is in unity. Your protection is in community. Your protection is in connection. What Satan does is, if he wants to destroy a believer, he walks to isolate him. He will use offense. He will use all kinds of things. All the bombardment in the mind. If he succeeds in isolating you, that's where he can eat you. Notice that all the animals in the wild have one weapon or the other they use to fight. Lions have teeth, they have claws. Serpents have poison. Scorpions have that their tail, their sting. The bees have sting. They all have different ways they protect themselves. The rabbits, they will go into the hole. But the sheep, you look at the sheep, you wonder what is the defense mechanism? It's two things. The strength of the sheep is in moving in unity. A sheep gets vulnerable when it strays. The second strength of the sheep is in following the shepherd. That's why God gives us pastors and spiritual leaders and so on. But let me point out this issue of synergy, how it works. But I said the reason the we is important is that the other side, you're playing a match. The other side has a team, but your, your own side, you're playing alone. He said the other side, everything is plural. Look at it. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, plural. Against powers, plural. Against rulers, plural, of the darkness of this world. Then the last group is wicked spirits, plural. In the heavenly places. King James calls them spiritual wickedness. If he give the other translation that they will see, it's wicked spirits that operate from the heavenlies. If you see the one that in Daniel chapter 10, that fought with angel Gabriel. Yeah, those spirits. Fallen angels. So, the other side is coming against you with unity. And you are going against them as an individual. The other side is an army. And you are going solo. You see what the problem is? So, the principle is, between now and June, this May, start when you leave the service. If you don't have family prayer whatever, establish one. If that one doesn't work for you because everybody is unmarried, find a friend, one or two person within the church that you pray with. Even if it's once or twice a week. The other ones you do alone. You pray with. If you can't even make it every day, good. Because one hour in 24 hours is not too much. The beauty now of today's connection is that Technology has made it. I'm part of prayer, you know, network. That sometimes we're in different parts of the world. But we have our time, our agreed time. That time, we all connect. And we start praying, the thing explodes. The power of God for online. But see, Jeremiah has initiated that by starting an early morning. Maybe that one doesn't work for you. And you're not a, start a chain. You and a couple of your friends, other believers, you and this. And, and uh, do you know you can create a prayer chain for your family? It can be once a week. It can be once. And you, your sister is in New York. The other one is. Because it is not discussing problems that solves them. It is not talking about issues that resolves them. Jesus says, speak to that mountain. Tell it to move. And then that's where you can get answers. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? It is praying about them and rebooking them that resolves it. Discussing the mountain will not solve it. 
talking about it. But if you really want it, situation to change, and you don't just do this because there are problems, even if there is none, do it because it unlocks the anointing, it unlocks faith on another dimension. Synergy is the rule of the game. At least have one or two. Jesus said, where two or two, Three are gathered in my name. I'm there. He didn't say we're individuals. I'm not saying you can't have the presence of God alone. But the degree, you can move in greater anointing, greater wisdom, if you begin to understand that part of the purpose of the church is community. Set up a cell in your house. Even if your cell is online for now. But that particular one hour, when you guys meet every week, everybody connects. Share the word of God. You pray about each other's needs. And it doesn't have to be you praying for everybody. You can get three people to pray. Next week, some other people. And then you can close. Make it mutually edifying. So that it's not just sapping your energy. Every time you are worried about, I don't have something to share. You don't have to. Even if you don't have, come there and pray. You don't have to preach. But the truth is, once you start praying, the word of God will come. My husband is always traveling. I establish online communication. Prayer. Even if it's once a week. And then when there's a challenge, hook up, hook up. Huh. We rest. Everyone said that word. The answer to unity is unity, not individualism.